What's going on guys? Today we're going to be doing some more cutting on the Z3 to prepare for the wide body. All right, boys, so if you watched last time, you saw I showed my design for my wide body, and we also started doing some cutting. So as you can see here, I did some cutting on the front bumper, the hood, and also this side panel uh, behind the tire. It wasn't quite enough. When I went to turn, I still had uh, the tire hitting the front bumper and also hit the side panel in the back. So first order of business will be doing some more cutting to both of those sections, making sure I can get full lock completely. Once I get full lock, I will be moving on to the rear. As you can see, we just have a little bit of gap there. So we're going to be cutting out a good bit, uh, almost up to that blue line there, so we can have some more clearance. And once we get that done, we will take it for a test drive, and I will see if I am rubbing anywhere else. And then we will throw back on the paper mock-up, which is chilling right here. So this is the rear, and that is the front. And once we get that back on, we will make some tweaks and finalize the design. But like I said first, we gotta do some more cutting. Really quick, I wanna thank today's sponsor, Fixed, the car repair sensor that lets you know what's wrong with your car. It also can give you cost estimates, maintenance reminders, and can manage multiple vehicles, which is really helpful if you're someone like me. It's normally $60, but if you use my link below, you can have it for just 20 bucks and free shipping. Quick update, as you saw, I got the front wheels back on. I can get almost to full lock. I think I'm still barely hitting in here. So next time I have the wheels off, I will uh, cut out. There's just a little bit of metal in there and cut out a little bit more of the liner as well. And in the front, the only spot I really saw was just up under here. And then a little bit more plastic needs to come off down here. Uh, which is just like bumper support, so that's fine. And now I just started looking at the rear. I started marking it out. I just took the wheel off, and I found out something awesome, that the uh, rear quarters here are totally cosmetic. They are not uh, part of the structure of the car. A lot of times on these unibodies, the uh, outer fender is part of the structure, and all of the pieces of sheet metal kind of come together right at the lip. So when you do cut that lip off, you need to reattach it. If you watch the Mustang build, uh, that's what I did there. There's basically two or more pieces of sheet metal that come and sandwich together right at the lip. So when you cut those apart, you need to re-weld them back together. That's what I did on the Mustang. But here, as you can see, it's only one piece. So this is only one piece. And where they're doing all of that is actually back here. So this is the actual structure of the car. Uh, you can see that all up in here. So that's like where the unibody structure ends. And then this out here is just one piece of sheet metal. So it's all cosmetic. So the great part of that is I can just cut away anything I need and I don't need to worry about re-welding anything, which I was worried about because those welds might get close to where you're gonna be seen and then I'll be melting off paint and worry about all that. So that's awesome. I will cut out as much as I need to. I'll just leave some meat left so that I have some points to attach the new fenders underneath. I'm gonna get this portion cut out on both sides so I can get the wheels back on and we can drive the car.
I've now got both sides of the rear cut went pretty smoothly, probably even easier than the front because most of it was all one piece, this quarter part. I only cut a tiny little triangle off of the rear bumper. I didn't want to cut too much off the rear bumper because you will be able to see it uh, somewhat with my design uh, in the lower portion here. So I didn't want to cut too much, but of course that would be an easy little piece to cut off more if I need to because that's just plastic. And what I've done is I put tape all on the uh, edge of the sheet metal here. So that way when I go and drive it, if I see that the tape got wore off anywhere, I'll know that that's where it was rubbing. Of course I'll try to listen, but it's, it's sometimes hard to hear and exactly where it's coming from. So that way, like if it hits here, the tape will be rubbed off there and then I'll know I need to cut more. Did the same exact thing in the front. I do think I'll be cutting a little bit more off under the hood here because this inner piece of sheet metal here seems to be hanging a little bit lower than the outer. So I will probably cut that off. But again, I taped everything so I will see where it's rubbing if it is. All right guys, just got back from a pretty successful test drive. So overall, the car felt amazing. That was the first time I actually drove with the new wheels and tires. Super comfy, surprisingly. Uh, I think with all that meat on the sidewall, really helps. And I have the suspension set right in the middle for dampening. It feels really good. And overall, very little rubbing. I was really surprised actually. Minus when I was trying to turn to like get out of my garage. I know I just need to cut a little bit more of this plastic, like here, like this little plastic support for the bumper, maybe a little bit more up here. And behind the tire, kind of the same thing. It hits the uh, fender liner. Although there is a couple pieces of metal back here that I want to trim back a little bit more uh, so that I don't have that rubbing when I go full lock. And up top, I just had a slight amount of rubbing on this inner piece of sheet metal here that I talked about that I was probably gonna cut anyway. Uh, so I'll cut that back a little bit more, but I know that I only hit here and in the back on uh, really big bumps. I was actually kind of trying to get it to rub. I went pretty fast over some pretty big bumps that I knew were in the road. I am happy that I didn't have any rubbing here where I left some extra uh, support for some bolts to attach the new fender. So there was no rubbing there. And then in the rear, kind of the same thing on the top. It was nice, I actually pointed my mirrors down and I could watch the tire. And most of the time I had plenty of clearance and it was just on those really big bumps I saw and I could actually hear a little bit of rubbing. See so right here, the tape got rubbed off just right there in that portion. Nothing back here and then a little bit back on the rear bumper. I kind of knew that was gonna happen. Um, I might kind of just leave that there. Maybe I'll trim it a little bit. It is just plastic and it's flat, so it's not going to really hurt the tire much if it does rub. And it's not like this is rubbing all the time. Like I said, this is like trying to get this to rub and hit really big bumps pretty fast. So I do think on the back here, I will cut this a little bit further up. I can't go too much more just because I know where I want my uh, new fenders to sit, but I'll cut that a little bit right in that area uh, where it was rubbing. All right guys, I finished my additional cutting and I got the car back on the ground. It's nice, I got pretty much full lock. I'm now just limited by in there, there's actually like part of the structure of the uh, car. That's almost at full lock when I start to hit that, so I'm really not too worried about it. I will put the fender liner back in so that when I do rub, I'll just be hitting the uh, plastic fender liner and, and no metal. And I put my paper mock-ups back on. I really just shifted the front uh, a little bit forward because I cut a little bit more off the front bumper there and it really worked out fine. The curve still looks good. I'll probably just adjust the uh, side panel a little bit 
and uh, the rear I put on basically exactly where it was and that pretty much looks fine. Generally everything is fitting the same way that it was so I'm happy with that. So now the fenders are pretty close to their final design although there's one piece that is missing. As you may have noticed down here at the bottom it just kind of ends in the rear and in the front so that doesn't quite look right. I don't want it to sit like that. So the plan is to build some uh, side splitters and also a front splitter. That way both fenders will have a nice point uh, to terminate to down here on the bottom, a nice flat surface. And I think the splitters will also do a lot to help the looks of the car. It will make the uh, side and the front a little bit lower since they are so high right now. So that'll be it for today, but next time we'll get to work on some front and side splitters.